have seen the Lord. These were the words uttered by Mary Magdalene as she announced to the disciples that she had a face-to-face -face encounter with the risen Lord. Today on Encounter Israel, we will explore the life of Mary Magdalene here in her hometown called Magdala, a unique place that was discovered in 2009 when a tractor unearthed an amazing archaeological discovery only a foot beneath the soil. Today we will explore this first century Jewish town only on Encounter Israel. I'm here with Celine at Magdala, and she is head of the Visitor Center and director of the Magdalena Institute. Celine, thanks so much for being on Encounter Israel. Thank you, it's a privilege to be here. Tell me, what does the layout of this town tell us about the type of people that lived here? I know I saw a mikvah oat over there, we see a synagogue. What, what are the details that give us more information about who lived here? Yes, well, we actually have a synagogue right here from the first century. We have a marketplace, and then we have the mikvah oat. Mikvah oat is plural for mikveh, which means a ritual bath. And we have four mikvah oat here at Magdala, which is a great blessing. And so this area undoubtedly was a Jewish part of town. Well, actually in 2009, when uh, Father Juan and his team were making plans for the construction of the Magdala Guest House, um, they had to bring in a team of archaeologists to check the terrain before they dug up. So one of the very first discoveries is the Magdala Stone itself. And after that, the far corner of the synagogue, the um, southeastern corner, and then the rest of the synagogue, little by little, was discovered. And they could see the stone was actually in the center of the synagogue. And that was, that was something very delightful to find. Plus, we have mosaic on the floor here from the first century. And on the walls over there, you see uh, many pieces of fresco, the same as you'd find in Pompeii, also in the same timeline of the first century. So that makes our synagogue very special in that it has a variety of art types here. And how do we know that this synagogue is a first century synagogue? Well, one of the main uh, reasons how we know it, one of the main ways is because the coins tell us. So I will show you a coin in a moment that is from the year 29. Wow. That was found inside the synagogue. Wow. They have found coins from the year 42 from the year 63, that's the last one. And down here in the excavation of this little hole on the ground, you could um, also see it's filled in now, but it was deeper, dug deeper. And down there they found a coin from the year. They calculate between five and 11. So in that time, we believe that that's when they're building the synagogue. That coin gets tossed in there for some reason. It's, in the, it's underneath the synagogue, so possibly this synagogue really only lasted about 55 years. And yet, uh, 2,000 years passed, and this place was not destroyed, in that we find today a full outline of a first century synagogue, the only one fully excavated in the Galilee. There are seven synagogues, but this is considered to be the best of those seven from the first century that have been fully excavated. What is it that motivates uh, the volunteers and the staff here at Magdala to provide such an amazing site uh, um, to so many different groups of people who are coming and visiting every day from around the world? I really think it's a special grace because everyone here loves it. The people come to volunteer because maybe they came on a tour one day and they said, I don't want to go away. I want to come back. I don't want to be gone from here. There's something special about this place and they come back and serve. It's something beautiful to see how so many people have fallen in love with the Lord here. Celine, thank you so much for taking time to share about all of the exciting uh, projects here at Magdala. We really appreciate you being on Encounter Israel. Thank you, blessings. Thank you for watching Encounter Israel. We hope you were blessed by the teachings and stories here in the Holy Land. To learn more about the International Christian Embassy Jerusalem and how you can be a blessing to the nation of Israel, visit icej.tv. We look forward to connecting with you.